Frozen Olaf Waits for Spring One chilly morning, Olaf found his friends preparing to travel up into the mountain. Hi Kristoff, hi Sven, Olaf said. What are you doing? It's almost spring, so I have to check on my ice harvesting equipment, Kristoff replied. Spring? Olaf cried. What about summer? I just love summer. Spring comes before summer, said Kristoff. And spring is amazing too. We can go sailing. Just wait and see. Maybe I'll love spring as much as summer, Olaf said as he headed inside to the castle. But I don't know. Elsa was talking to Olina. In the spring we'll have fresh fruit, and with fruit we can make pie, said Olina. Oh, I love pie, Olaf said. Uh, what's pie? Elsa smiled. It's a delicious dessert. Just wait and see. Olaf raced outside to find Anna. Spring is coming soon, he cried. With sailing and pies. Ah, I love spring, Anna said. That's when crocuses bloom and all the cute baby animals are born. Just wait and see. Olaf was excited. I'm going to find the best place to wait for spring, he told himself, and off he went. Olaf walked and walked. He wanted to find a place where he would see all the boats and pies and crocuses and baby animals when they arrived. Finally, he settled on a spot high on a mountain. And he waited. But the only thing that arrived was a snowstorm. Hmm, said Olaf. This is not quite how I, I imagined springtime. Then he saw something far in the distance. Ooh, he gasped. Are those spring babies? Olaf ran toward the babies, only to discover that they were actually his friends. Olaf, Anna exclaimed. We've been looking all over for you. I was just on the mountaintop waiting, Olaf said. Waiting for what? asked Anna. For spring, of course, he replied. Just like you all told me to. I'm so excited that it's almost here. Because as soon as it arrives, we'll go sailing and enjoy fresh pies and colorful, colorful crocuses. And best of all, greet the spring babies. Olaf, Elsa said gently. Spring doesn't arrive all at once. It's gradual. Sailing can be difficult at the beginning of spring, said Kristoff. Because there's still ice in the fjord. First. The ice melts and the bigger ships come in and out of the fjord. He smiled. It might be a while before it's warm enough for us to go sailing in a smaller boat. And it doesn't get warm overnight, Anna added as they walked toward town. Look in that tree, Elsa said. The birds are preparing for their babies. Do you see the nest, Olaf? Anna asked. First comes the nest, then the eggs. 
After that, the baby birds will hatch. Remember how Olina talked about making pies, said Elsa? Well, right now, the sun is melting the snow. The ground will get muddy, but soon fresh fruits, vegetables and crocuses will begin to grow. A few days later, Kristoff insisted that everyone go on a spring boat ride. This is only the beginning of spring. It will get warmer soon. And then we'll be able to go for longer sails. Anna told Olaf as she huddled under a blanket next to Kristoff. It just takes time. That's okay, said the little snowman. I love waiting for spring. As it turned out, Olaf didn't have to wait very long. In only a few weeks, spring was popping up everywhere. Oh, he sighed, summer is great, but you know what? I love spring too.